Well, thanks, Luke. You know, we do see a lot of uh, actual tension uh, amongst agencies. You know, mm -hmm. I'm fortunate to be able to travel to other nations in their public sector uh, development of IT modernization, the application of platform management versus uh, application management, as Chris was just mentioning. And as Dave was speaking to as well, is, is there's this real push now to embrace uh, new technologies, and, and we're starting to see budgets that will support the ability to make those transformations. But this tension I was referring to is really an expectation of the users for the ability to interact with getting their job done in an easy, interactive way at work the way that they do at home in our, in our personal lives. So we're used to having data presented to us in the format that we want to make a decision very rapidly, whether it's to get a ride in a car, uh, utilizing one of the uh, uh, Lyft providers such as Uber or Lyft if we're if we're getting directions like when I drove out here this morning and I used Waze uh, information is aggregated and presented to you in a way that you can make the appropriate decision to carry out whatever the task is that you're trying to accomplish and then we get to work particularly in the in the public sector there's there's a real challenge in moving from the legacy environment into this new modern interactive environment where um, computing capabilities and platforms are, are able to aggregate and present this type of decision making that's appropriate to your role and responsibilities. Uh, and the legacy individual siloed purchases that we've uh, had in the past in our rush to try to maintain this heterogeneous environment uh, and avoid vendor lock. So all of these things have kind of conspired to uh, restrict or delay the ability of federal agencies in particular, but also state, local, and other nation agencies to make a rapid transformation and embrace new technologies as quickly as they would like. Because they've got a significant investment in legacy capabilities. Uh, there are security concerns uh, that are going to drive the adoption of, of a hybrid architecture, much as you said uh, in your opening remarks, Luke, is we've really seen that the ability to manage the environment in a hybrid type of a um, extension of control of that environment and present this user experience that mimics what we have in, in our commercial lives in the workplace is, is driving what organizations are trying to accomplish. Yeah. 